Well, my parents are telling me I have to pay for my sister's college. Well, they didn't tell me their dark little dirty family secret. It's often said that we should have someone who we can entrust our lives to. But the sad reality is that there's no one who's really worth trusting most times. Not even your family. I come from a family of four. My father, my mother, my younger sister, and myself. My sister and I were adequately catered by our parents, or so I thought. My father worked in the family company that had existed before he was born. His father, who was my granddad, was in control of the business. The business was passed down from generations, and it was expected that my father, who was next in line to the throne, would someday have it passed down to him. My mother did not work in the company, neither did she own a business anywhere. She was just a busybody moving from one place to the other, living on the respect that came to her as the wife of my father. Our family was very much popular in the state. No one could live in the city which we did and claim to not have heard about my family. These were rumors that my family were amongst the founding members of the city. I don't know how true that is, though. My granddad compelled my father to work in the family's business, and it came with privileges. Besides the monetary allowances given to my father, the tuition fees for my sister and I were covered by the company. Yes, the company had the responsibility to seeing my younger sister, and I through school, from our infancy to any level which we attained academically. They paid the funds directly to my parents' account, and my parents handled the payments and all. This was something neither I nor my younger sister was aware of. My father was a greedy man. I think his wife was the one who influenced him negatively. They were always after their bellies. They were either throwing a party or visiting a site for vacations. This made my father subtly steal part of the company funds. And my granddad was not aware as he's taken the back seat to let my father get used to piloting the affairs. I'm certain that, if not for the fact that my granddad had compelled my father to work in the family firm, my dad would just sit at home lazily waiting for the day when his father dies, so he could just pick up the inheritance, since he was the only child and heir. I was a few years ahead of my younger sister, and so she was still in high school when I was getting ready to go to college. My parents did get me enrolled into a nice school, which was in a different city, but the night before I went to college, they both called me and began telling me things that were tough, and I needed to manage whatsoever was given to me. They claimed that though our family was rich and powerful, my granddad insists that my father be paid like other workers in the firm, and the bills at home was really becoming much on them. It was flat out a lie, but I bought it. I never reasoned that if they were in a dire need of money, all that they had to do was ask Granddad, who was known as a philanthropist. There was definitely no one he was going to let his son, daughter-in-law, and granddaughter suffer while he took care of outsiders that were unrelated to him. I guess my parents preyed on my naivety. They even told me not to let my Granddad know about what's going on with the academics and any form of challenge which I might face. It was not an issue as I was not the kind of person who spends carelessly. I assured them that I was going to do my very best. I got into college and it was not funny at all. I was from a family that was respected, but my profile did not match my personality. Though my tuition fee was paid, there was still a lot that I lacked. This was a school where I was not really known, so I decided to get a job to support myself in school. It was not easy, but I managed to graduate with a good result. Upon my graduation, my parents decided to throw me a graduation party. Now, I'm not against parties, but I struggled through school because they claimed the bills to pay at home was just too much. And upon my graduation, they were suddenly throwing some elaborate party that cost thousands of dollars to organize. Well... It was during the said party that I knew the reason my parents decided to throw such a party. They just wanted to show off their daughter, who graduated with a distinction. My parents introduced me to pride from one friend to another, to the point that I actually began feeling irritated. 
They had no idea that I had to endure and pass through during my college days just to make sure I graduated with the results that they were boasting with. A few months after the party, I decided to relocate to a different city to seek a job. I did not wish to join the circle of family members working in the family business. I needed to do something of my own. And besides, I did not want it to seem like I could not survive without my family's wealth. My granddad, though, was not really happy that I was going outside the family to help someone build their business. But there was nothing he could do. Within two weeks after I've moved on, I got a job as the secretary of a food processing industry. The pay, it was mediocre, but it's okay to keep me afloat. I could manage it. I was determined to be diligent in my job, so as to make progress there. My true identity as the granddaughter of one of the richest men in the state wasn't really known there, so I was not to expect any special treatment whatsoever. Any achievements which I would make would be solely dependent on my efforts, and not the family's name. Life went on quietly for me until my parents showed up. My younger sister was about entering college and my parents began demanding that I sponsor her through college since they were not financially capable of doing so. Yeah, yeah, right. Their excuse seemed like the really nice one, except I wondered why they would have spent hundreds of thousands throwing me a party when it would have been used for my sister. If only I knew that the money which they claimed they never had had already been paid for by my family's company. <laughs> my parents had squandered it on vacations. I would have gladly sponsored my sister without them asking twice. I mean, she is my sister. But I had just started a job which paid me little. So I could not really afford to train someone else. My parents were not pleased with my response. They badgered me for days, unending to look for a means, and I suggested going to Granddad, but they vehemently refused doing so. They claimed that it would paint the wrong picture of them being irresponsible before Granddad. At that point, I was at a crossroads. My parents even began blackmailing me emotionally. They claimed that most of the part of the money which they had given me during my school days were actually meant for my sister. And that was why my sister was in need of money. I knew telling them all I went through in school just to make ends meet as the money they gave me was never enough would make me look ungrateful little child, so I just stayed mute. After days of emotionally blackmailing me, I decided to obtain a loan. But I knew that no financial body would give me a loan without collateral, except I used the advantage I had. My family name. I had to return to the city where my family was known and I obtained a loan that ran into the thousands of dollars for my sister's academics. It was not that difficult of a process as I was known there, though I'm certain the financial body were really curious as to why the granddaughter of the philanthropist Mr. Adams sought a loan for schooling when her grandfather sponsored lots of people through school. All the same, I used my grandfather as a surety, unknowingly to him though, as I felt I could repay back the money before the time was due. Unknown to me, the loan body that I used their services were more like loan sharks. They were willing to give me because besides their interest rate, which was really high, my debt would constantly increase daily by 2% should I fail to repay the loan as it was due. These guys were willing to drag me and my family's name through the mud if I failed to repay it. I guess they knew since my father was a popular figure, it was going to be an avenue to make money if they exploited it properly. Had I known any better, I would have ended the whole thing before it began. This was the worst financial decision I've ever taken in my life, and it was thanks to the pressure which my parents had mounted on me. My younger sister got into college and I made sure she had more than enough to sustain her there. Though my parents took the glory. They made her believe, just as they've done to me, that they were the ones who solely sponsored it through her school. And this naturally created a feeling of indebtedness in my sister towards our parents. Time went by rather quickly and I made little progress at my workplace. It was not really as easy as I thought it would be. 
I guess it does help when you're favored because of the name you bear. Before I knew what was going on, the lone folks whom I've collected my younger sister's tuition money from came a-knocking on the door. I did not have the money yet. Neither did I know what to do. So while I was trying to figure out what my next line of action was going to be, these loan sharks contacted my grandfather. I was shocked when Granddad sent for me on Tuesday morning. It was really unusual because it was my custom to visit him twice in a month at his residence, and my visits were in the weekends as I had work during the week. As a matter of fact, I'd been with him the weekend before that Tuesday, and I was pretty sure we had no unfinished business, except the loan, which he was not aware of. I got to his residence, and he told me about the visit that he's gotten from the loan firm earlier on. There's no point in trying to hide the obvious. It did just not make sense to lie at the point, because Granddad could read me like a book. Thanks to his age and experience, so I came clean and told him all about it. I watched his face twist in surprise and anger as I told him that I had to take the loan from my younger sister's college tuition fees, because I was under pressure pressure from my parents. My granddad was furious, but his anger was not towards me. It was directed towards my parents. It was then that he disclosed to me that the cost of my schooling and that of my younger sisters from infancy through any level we desired was covered by the family company who gave the money to my parents. Now, I was surprised and angry because my parents had always painted the picture that they were the ones shouldering the cost of the schooling of sister and I. It was then it made sense to me why they forbid me from telling Grandpa about my financial needs and all. It was not because they did not want to look incapable of taking care of their children, as they claimed. It was because they did not want Granddad finding out that they were using most of the money for frivolities. I proceeded to tell Grandad of how I had to pick up a job in my college days just to support myself, as my parents did not really give me much. My discussion with Grandad that day left him feeling disappointed and angry at my parents, but he was not going to act hastily. He was going to let his age, experience, and wisdom come into play. He cleared the debt which I was owned the loan sharks, and he asked that I resign from my little job of the city where I worked, and come join the family business. I didn't bother arguing with him. I did not even have any form of objection, because I was already a tired of the work that was draining so much of my energy, and giving little in return. I resumed work at the family's firm almost immediately, and I was granddad's eyes and ears over there. I gave him an accurate report of everything that went on. We both continued to act ignorant of what my parents had done and what they were doing, and I was not permitted to tell my younger sister about the discovery yet. So we just watched from the sidelines as my parents continued to thrive on her ignorance while she felt further indebted to them. My younger sister was graduating two years after I began working at the family's company, and my parents, just as they've done before, decided to throw a massive party to celebrate her graduation. Well, the party was just a disguise to show themselves off, of course. My granddad got news of the planned party, and guess what? He proposed to throw the massive party himself. He wanted to be both the graduation party for my younger sister and a retirement party for him, where he would finally announce his new successor. My parents welcomed the idea with joy. They knew that it was going to be all about them as my dad, who was the only child, was going to be officially declared the successor of Granddad. My parents worked with my Granddad just so they could make the whole event the most elegant and widely talked about in the city. The day finally came and everyone was present. The high and mighty of the society were all around, the ceremony was being covered by a prominent media house, and it was streamed live. After the program had begun, my granddad mounted the platform that had been set, and asked that my father, mother, and sister and I both join him there. The ego of my parents was already bloated, that you could see it from the way they carried themselves onto the platform while being followed by escorts. 
My granddad began by appreciating everyone's present. He appreciated my sister and I while my parents eagerly waited with pride for their exact moment. He then proceeded to the main reason we had all gathered there. He noted that it was time he retired and handed over the company to capable hands, just as his father had done to him and his father before. He then proceeded to thank my parents for being around and giving him two lovely granddaughters. While my parents were swelling with pride as they could not wait for him to announce my dad as his successor, they got the shock of their lives when my granddad fired my father on the spot right in front of everyone. My parents and every dignitary present was both stunned by my granddad's actions. But that's when he proceeded to expose my parents' deceit to everybody. My parents could do nothing. They just stood with their heads bowed in shame. When Granddad was done, he announced me as his successor. I almost passed out. I never saw that coming. Nobody did. My parents were led out of the platform by the same police escorts that followed them. The shame and disgrace was a public one that would linger in the hearts of everyone for a while. My younger sister would later join me in the family company, and my parents kept their distance from both of us and the company because Granddad had promised to sue them in court for theft if they ever came close. I cannot stress enough my favorite part of this story the grandfather, oh, he's a slick one. He decided to wait for this party to embarrass the crap out of OP's parents, and I think they deserved every bit of it. Yeah, it doesn't look like the father's going to be taking over anything. It's OP. Guys, let me know your exact thoughts on this. Drop it down below. This was a crazy story, and I have to know your opinions on it. Thank you so much for joining me on this wild ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me your favorite part down below and I'll catch you in the next one.